Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to password PHP my admin in your XAMPP server. Now, some of us might not know why we should set password or password our PHP my admin in our XAMPP server. Now, let me show you quickly show you some reasons why you should set password to your PHP my admin. You need to create a password for the following reasons. One, you don't want to have a database or a server that is accessible by anybody or any kind of person. That's very insecure. Two, for personalization or personalization sake. Three, to prevent hackers or intruders. Four, programming languages such as PHP may require it sometimes when coding and dealing with serious official sites. Now, to download the Zem server, go to this link you go to this link and download it or type this on google download zamp and click on the first result displayed on the first page now once you've downloaded and installed it you can now join me as i show you how to set your password and secure it now the first thing you might want to do is to open the zamp control panel and once you open the ZAMP control panel, once your own is not running like this, you start it. You start the board, the Apache and my SQL. Once you start it, you click on admin. And once you click on admin, it will open on your web cell browser. Once your web browser opens, you go to user account. And you see under your user account, you see something like root, your username root, the host name, local host and this is what we are looking for and if you, you discover that the local host has no password yet this is your mail host and it has no password yet and this is what we are going to set the password to now in order to set the password first of all you minimize it then you locate where your zamp is your zamp folder is you go to your zamp folder this is my zamp folder mine is located in my c drive so you open the XAMPP folder and locate PHP my admin. Once you see PHP my admin, you, you locate config.inc. Once you have you've seen config.inc, you click on it and you try to open it on your test editor. I'm using the Notepad++ now for my own. Now once you've opened it, you go to under authentication type and information you go to conf the first line you go to config and remove this once you remove this you replace with it cookie cookie once you replace with it cookie you save it and either close or minimize it and once you've done that you go back to your web browser and refresh once you refresh you see something displayed like this on your windows and this we just show your username which is the default username this one is permanent root and you you might just want to leave it like that and your password you enter the password but for now remember that we've not entered any password and uh, so what you have to do you click on go and once you click on go you come back to the you click on username and once you come back to username you try and then you click and this one we are going to create a password here so you click on edit privileges and what you click on edit privileges you click on change password and once you click on change password you now enter your secret password we type your secret password and click on go and once you've entered it you see, you see get a notification the password for root at localhost was changed successfully. Once you get this notification, then you are good to go. Now to confirm this, you go back, click on this icon here, log out. And once you click on the icon log out, now you try to refresh it, then you come here and you try to log in just as we did the last time. And once you click on go, you get a notification an error message cannot log into the mysql server 
This is because you've changed the password for the phpMyAdmin. admin. Now you enter the password that you, you, you changed it to and click on go. And once you click on go, it automatically open your phpMyAdmin for you. And this is just how to set the password for your phpMyAdmin. Now that's all. Thanks for watching and um, stay connected to my channel Tony Cleros by subscribing. And uh, if you have learned something today, please click on the like button below. And uh, God bless you. Stay blessed. And uh, thank you very much once again. Bye.